Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and I was just sitting here gluing things and I thought well I'm doing a bit of a random craft today because um, I'm out of things really. I've got a few but you know for journals and stuff and so I was just going through my to-do box. I had mentioned yesterday, look at all these strips um, about you know the window envelopes. Oh that's a pretty colour. Um, so yeah, I, I started gluing on the strips around the edges here, which is the part I dislike the most about, um, covering, uh, window envelopes. And then I just kept on going. So, I mean, these things can be like a bell, I've got a bit of glue there. Um, they can be a bit like a, um, belly band or they can wrap around the edge of a page. So that makes a little pocket on one page and that's on the other page. Um, here's some bigger ones and so yeah and then I just continued so look how many I got done I just kept pulling them out of my to-do box and um, gluing papers on them started with the strips then I did that bit and then those bits there so I really like them and they kind of um, can be adapted to I haven't finished like I would decorate that bit possibly um, most of them maybe not this one can be um, adapted to Christmas as well. So I'm just gonna leave them kind of like that. So then um, if there's any in there that I can adapt to Christmas, I can um, decorate them up. And then what I do is I put them in my box. I've got my box here. These are pocket, this is my pocket box sort of, or tuck box. Um, looks like I've got heaps of stuff, but there's lots of um, hoardy stuff in here. Uh, not ha hoardy in the sense that I wanna remember the idea. So I may not necessarily have, I mean, there's envelopes there, but as far as um, pockety sort of things, um, what's that doing? That's something incomplete, that shouldn't be in there. As far as pockets, there's not that many in there. I've got my diagonal pockets here. I've got, I don't know what that, oh, that's like a, oh, that was the overhanging. See, I have to make more of those. I've only got one left. Um, there's one of those envelopes. Um, so, yeah, so there's not much left in here. I probably need to make some more library pockets, decorate some bags. There's, oh, I was looking for those yesterday. They should go in there. Um, so, yeah, then I have my rectangle pockets, which are here, but there's not that, that many. And some of them I'm just sort of keeping because I need to remember them or, or not. But maybe, you know, they're a bit bulky for a, a, thing, a pocket. So, um, yeah, I need to do some more things. So, um I've done some of those window things, and that's good. I've did quite a bit of those. They're a bit tall. Um, so I need to start filling it up, and then I need to also start filling up the tag. So this is just a collage page. Um, I do feel like I might I might get my cutter out, because I'll probably use that a bit today. I probably don't need my flail towel, which is left here. I didn't really tidy up very well, simply because... Um, I uh, continued crafting until uh, like a little bit after dinner. So um, I've still got stuff everywhere, but that's okay. So this is stuff here um, that I've pulled out from my to-do box. And so this one I'm going to snip in half and make two smaller pockets, I think. I don't like that edge there. Or I could use them to make two smaller journal cards because sometimes you need the smaller journal cards. So I'm not necessarily 100% just going to make pockets, but um, I'll just see whatever takes my fancy. So I could back those and um, and make those little journal cards. This is stuff I pulled out of my box, so I'll put those aside. Let's move the strips because there's just so many of them and I may not need them right now. There's some plain bits that we can use. So yeah, just trying to use up the bits and pieces that I've got flying around. I'm just looking, oh, here we go. I've got some things here that I can back with as well. So I just want to start using them up. So, I mean, could you keep that? I could, I could keep it and I did. Oh. Okay, so that'd be a nice, that's actually already a nice shape for a tag, that one. Uh, so let's just, well, I'll get my glue on here. 
So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. Um, it's kind of a funny day today, but it's meant to be quite very warm. So maybe that's why it's probably a bit muggy. It looks like there's a bit of humidity about. So I've got all manner of kits pulled out here. Now, I'm not going to rip that off yet because I might decide just to slide, fold it around. And that is perfect, so that's going to go there. It just so happens to be the perfect size. And I'm not, I haven't, I'm, wasn't, I'm not continuing on with uh, yesterday's project, the, the envelope journals, because I do need these things, even for those. So, um... I think I will, because that will, that kind of sort of brings it together a little bit. Instead of it makes it sort of unifies these patches here. And then I need to trim. It's a very thick journal card. I'm going to snip the corners. I've covered my garbage bin. I need that as well. I've managed to get myself in a very big mess. Let's just move the. I might need the pencil. A nice old piece of paper there. Oh, no, it's pretty gross, actually. No, I won't use that. There was a reason why I put it in my garbage. Okay. All right, so that one's done. And let's just back the other one, and then we'll find something to decorate them with, which won't be hard. I've got lots of little things. I kind of like having these um, little ones. I should put my glue on here. I kind of like having some smaller journal cards because they do all tuck into smaller pockets, although I like to put them in the envelopes. Okay, let's put a piece across there. Now that's where a strip could come in handy if I had one the right, that's not... So a lot of them are quite narrow, my strips. I've used all the wider ones. Here's a wider one there. And that would be quite nice. I don't like the curvy bit, so we'll just tear that off. And I'll trim off this. Just, it's not quite big enough, but anyway, we'll make it work. Now, I think I will fold this around, and I'm going to fold the other one around as well. Just trimming off my corners and we've got two journal cards now I need to sort of find where my images are I have I know I had quite a few smaller images so let's just go through here I'll just chuck those in there just tidy up oh and then I had this as well it was a um, envelope top so I just did that so I need to decorate that up it's small but you know I do make smaller ones sometimes so I just want to go in here and see if I have anything smaller that I might like to put in on one of these. Sometimes I like to put those sorts, but that one doesn't go. Yeah, and like yesterday, just shuffling papers left and right. <laughs> I know I had some sort of already sort of torn out like that. Could be good, that one. One aside. So 
something like this one maybe. I just do a really whizzy cut with these. Woke up with a headache today. Steffi woke up with one too and yeah, I don't know why it hasn't it doesn't seem to have gone. I probably have to eat something and then take a paracetamol or something. Now, well that one, I think it's going to be prettier on that one. So we'll glue that one there. So I haven't really been keeping my glue papers lately these papers that I glue on sometimes I do but I've got too much stuff at the moment I think that's really pretty um, just trying to think no I don't think I want to put anything on top let's have a look no I think I'll leave it like that so there we go I've already got a, a quick journal card and I'm going to do this one. I thought I might put tear this down. I'll see how big it is. I think my tear ruler has fallen down the side of the table. I need to get pull out the boxes and get it. Yeah, I think I'll put that there. And I think I may put, let's see what I've got over here in the strips, if there's anything that I might like. No. Could do a pop of red. Mm, yeah, I don't mind that. I had to I've been going to the main post office um, over this last week because my girl has gone on holidays and one of the no, most notoriously slow ladies is working at my post office and so I will not go to her because I'll to you know it'll take forever and I have angry people behind me so today I went I was at the big post office and they have two windows serving you know for mailing stuff and so obviously I occupied one and um and was taking, you know, the ladies, the lady that served me, she's okay. She, she knows, you know, she does her job, but she's not that fast. She moves at a slow pace, but, um, she's fine. And, um, and so she, there, there, there were the other window that does the shipping. Um, there was a gentleman there, an elderly man, and he's got some, I don't know what they are. There's some type, kind of postal. I don't know where my blue scissors are. Um, it's under the mess there. Um, she, um, he had some of those, some, I don't know, governmental or postal bonds or something. And I don't know, it wasn't like, it wasn't a lot. It was like 70 euro or something like that. And I don't know, he needed to I didn't, well, maybe liquidate them. I couldn't understand. I don't know what they are. So I'm not quite sure how they work. And the woman's, um, the po the lady working at the post office, uh, she's trying to explain to him <laughs> that, um, you, whatever he needed to do if he wanted to get the money it needed to, to be at least one full working day uh possibly even one and a half so if he wanted to be sure he could leave two um and so she's trying to explain to him that if he did something today he wouldn't be able to get the money until tuesday because of the weekend and literally i think he would have been there for half an hour and there was a man waiting behind that he had to pick up a letter like a a registered mail that he wasn't home when they delivered it 
and um, obviously I was taking a long time, but he could see we were going forward. So he wasn't, he didn't seem so angry with me. What was frustrating for him was listening to this man because the lady at the post office was going around and around. I mean, they were talking around in circles. She's explaining it to him and then he's going, and yes, but, and then, and then she's explaining it again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> and so the man behind him screamed at him. <laughs> And then the and gentleman said, I, I'm going to take as long as I want. Um, and they sort of had a bit of an altercation. And, uh, and then when the other man, and then when, when um, that other gentleman left, um, he went flying, the, you know, the one that was waiting went flying up to the window. And she's like, no, there's a lady who's booked first. <laughs> so he was really upset. But he's like, he when he got to the window, he said, "It's not your fault, isn't that cute? It's not your fault." But you know, if if a man can't, if someone can't understand that two plus two equals four, then we've got problems. And that, that I think that's what was more than the waiting was. That's what was so frustrating for him was that um, <laughs> that that they were talking around in circles. Like she had to keep re-explaining the same thing. This is a glue paper, um, so we're going to turn that into something. Let's turn it into a just a, a regular sort of pocket. So um, I'm just going to grab any paper, really. I mean, they've all been sitting around these papers. They need to be used. This one, I feel like it's got all the colours. So really, I could adapt this to Christmas, too, if I wanted to. I will start. I've, I have recorded a couple of videos for Christmas. Um... Um, when I get cracking, um, making some more things, I will record those. And I'll probably start posting them towards the end of next week, I think. So, um, but I think I won't do just Christmas because we need to go on with our other project. Isn't that lovely? I actually really like it with the, that colour there. It's just a very brittle paper. I'm going to glue that on. And then... Maybe I don't. I could glue all of that down to there and make it a smaller bucket. I don't know. Or I could turn it. Oh, I know. I'll fold it over. That's what I'll do. I'll put my glue on here because it is brittle. And then I think I'll run my wet glue along there so I don't rip it because I rip the papers like I'm a very vigorous glue up because I like to get enough glue on there to make sure that my glue stick's going to stick. I don't usually have problems with my Giotto glue stick. I'll make sure that it's at the top. And then this, I'm gonna run this glue along. I said, sometimes think if you just have your base ready to go, then you can just add a quick embellishment once you decide what type of journal it's gonna go into. Sometimes I don't quite finish things off. And then I just put them in the in the box where the um, um, pockets are and things. And then it can have, you know, it might just need a label ad added to it. It could have like a fussy cut or it could just have a little piece of book page added to it. But this one doesn't really need too much. I think that's lovely. I love the colours. I'm going to leave that. What I am going to do is slip out my little semicircle so I remind myself that that is a pocket I'll try and center it um, I won't be trimming this one oh it's not popping out so well because um, it's wet it needed to dry so I'll just cut it there we go it's not bad so there's a pocket um, so you do kind of get a lot think a lot of things I'm feeling hot now a lot of things made in these kind of videos now I like these for making little tags but I've got this cute little image here oh I would have to be the worst ripper ever I just really I should get out my little ruler I think I'd like to put that there, but that's a bit big, isn't it? So let's get the little ruler out. Oh, I love that. Okay, 
I sort of feel like I want this one to be, I'm going to glue that there for sure. Put some glue paper here. I did think I want to put that there, but I kind of need to put a bit more in the background, I feel like. Because it's a bit plain. I may not like this. I'm going to put it there, but I may not like it. that one or what other little ones do I have? Oh, I've got this lovely little image too. Let me just tear this one out. might be a better size. Yeah, I like that one more. I'll do that one, a different one on a, on a different Thing. So I am trying to glue on my papers as much as possible as I'm not using them as a base. But when I decide to do like a collage base, I will do them again. So this is going to be a, just a cute little um, journal card. I think I'd like, oh, yeah, I'd like that on. I'm going to glue it onto there and just have that peekabooing out from behind. So just layering it up, really. Cool. And I'm just going to tear that little piece off. I could leave it on, but I think it's a bit brittle. I think, oh, I love that. It's really cute. And that's just a little journal card. I just love making all these little random things. Um, I have this. This is, see, that's already like a pocket. I like these as well. I just like them because you don't have to think about um, the substrate. Like, it's, it's just your base. Like, I could rip that in half and, um, and have make two pockets. I could open it at the bottom. I think I will. I could have just gotten my scissors and trimmed it. Would have been, why don't we just do that? It'd be much neater. It, well, it won't be neater because it'll be crooked, but it won't be all raggedy, raggedy crooked. So if I open that up, that can wrap around. Let's get that off. That can wrap around a page and be two pockets. And they're very useful, those sorts of things. But what you need to do when you've got envelopes is just make sure all of these flappy bits are glued down. And why not just, you know, use up the envelopes instead of chucking them in the rubbish. So I'm just going to look for a nice paper. There are all my double-sided printed papers. Left them there from, from yesterday. I've got this lovely... I love these scripty do pieces. Let's just tear this down. So these are just from my ephemera kits. They're all bits and pieces of lovely... Super old. That one doesn't have a date on it, but it was 1800s. They're most most of them are early 1800s, um, and maybe the you know they were or I got them like that, or they were they had um, very fragile bits on them, or they were ripped. So I just tear them up, and then if I like the look of it, I just scan it. So I think I'll put that there, and then we'll work out the rest. And you will find that these kind of sessions, so I have a, just a box for anybody who's new. I'll show it to you in a sec. I have a box of incomplete things or leftover bits from, you know, I've taken off the front of the envelope or I've kept the bit with the window and I've used it for something else. And then I'll just put all these random bits in this box and it's like my to-do box. I'll just get the paper towel and get rid of that. It's like my to-do to box. And um, and then 
you just make things with them and you fill up i have a box foot oh look what i did that doesn't matter we can get this and trim it Oops. or i could no i can add something i don't why would i trim it why would i do that um yeah i'll grab my oh, i'll have to stand up to get it just a sec oh and it's a bit of a mess and i think i might make things fall on the floor okay so this is my to-do box here as you can see there's always plenty to do so what do i have in here i'll just let's have a quick look i've got oh i've just got envelopes i've got these sorts of random things i have these cute oh they're cute leftover things from other projects so let these were left over from doing the document things i might do something with those i've got envelopes as i said i have pieces of folded paper um, paper that i've been gluing on um yeah, just all random things like oh there's a bag that's not finished need to finish that um things that yeah just like i you know when i was doing the videos i didn't finish them so yeah um i've also got oh i've got collage pieces so lots of collage pieces oh, uh, big ones small ones folded pieces oh that's from a really long time ago that was from the 100 day project um here's some more taggy bits they're all collage bits that i've cut up ready to be made into tags i've got packaging window envelope there's a window envelope there just it's just full of things that need to and pieces of paper well that's a good piece of paper we'll do something with that some packaging some more collage pages big tags oh big tags oh i prepared that. i need those need to pull those out they need to be done oh look i've got um re prepared postcards i need to do those oh my goodness so many cool things in here to do and then i've got a few pieces of things i'm not quite sure what i'll ever do with them like these sorts of file folders there's um they're really not very me i thought i might cover them there's a photograph what else do oh i've got a um i made that Oh, didn't I do a nice job of that? Huh. Pull that one out. Don't you love it when you like your handiwork? There's another one. I've got some plain. I do some beige collage pages. And they're on my glue pages. These, those are old ones. Uh, I think Lulu did that one. Lulu did one. She felt like doing a collage. So I just put it in there mm -hmm. to hold on to. All kinds of stuff. Post, postal things. I've got folded pieces of botanical pages. Oh, Patricia Viramontes sent me all of those. I should do something with those. I don't always have a lot of stitching in my journals anymore. Um, I find it not very nice to glue down. There more envelopes, see? I need to do more strippy collaging. So, yeah, just to give you an idea of what I keep in my... There's some stamped book pages. Got a lot of collage stuff. Oh, there's some folded um, digitals ready to hinge onto something. I need to pull those out. So just, yeah, all things that are incomplete um, that need to be completed. So I do have sessions with what's in my box. I call them what's in my box and I pull them out and I make I just get making. And what you find is, well, today I'll probably do a bit less because a bit of um, distraction there chatting. Um, but what I find is you do get a lot done. You do end up with a whole lot of stuff that's good stuff that you need. I'm going to take this piece and glue that where I'll use this piece here. Um, I didn't quite go to the edge because I can't see for looking. And they do tend to be these sessions, some of the most fun, in my opinion. I'll put that up there. I really do enjoy them. So let's see. Got glue everywhere. Now my wet ones are very wet because I did run them underwater because I hadn't used them very much. So I'm just dry. I got a paper towel so I can dry it off as well. So I'm just trying to find. Sometimes you just don't have the scraps that you think you might need. What's that? It's a plain piece of paper. Okay, so let's keep on looking here. I'll put my scissors over here. I had some. I might have moved them over there in my toing and froing with the papers. Okay, 
get those. So what I'm looking for are just some bits and pieces to collage on here. Oh, you know what I might need there is book page. Oh, this is what I was looking for, but I think I've got big ones here. These are from the wallpapers. Let's see about this one. Yeah, I like that. And because it's kind of like a goldy sort of colour, I feel like, you know, this this could be adapted to Christmas, this one. I'm going to use the whole strip. Just got to get my glue on it. Now don't forget that this is probably going to be wrapped around two pages so you're only going to see let me just show you half see look at that I love that and that can have some Christmas on it now oh, don't fold while it's wet that's not a good idea because it moves um, I wanted to find somewhere here in my mess I don't want green I want red I had some of my red background papers red and green I thought I had a smaller piece of red as well. I've got a smaller piece of green. Here we go. I can use a piece of, I just want to put a piece of that there. So I'm just going to tear it across here. I'm eyeballing it, as you do. And I might tear it a bit bigger and just wrap it around. And there's a piece, and when it's dry, I'll fold it. And that's a piece that's going to be a wrap around pocket two pockets you get two for the price of one so that's going to go on there great and I'm just going to wrap that around there we go and when that's dry I will fold it what else did we have here about those? We had this. This was, oh, I, this is obviously intended to be a journal card. So it's actually very nice as it is. Again, I could make this a bit more Christmas. So I think I'm going to leave it. I might add, it could become Christmassy. Let's just grab um, the book. I've got a box. I've just got a, like a plastic cratey sort of thing here um, that I put all my Christmas into so that I could keep it all together. But I just wanted to see what I could add to this if I could make this Christmassy. Oh, I can't wait to get into all of this stuff. I really can't. See, something like that could be really cute on there. I'll probably leave it for now. Um... And when I do Christmas, I might pull it out and see if there's anything. So I think I'll just put this one aside. I don't know whether I want to go too green. I would like something with a bit more red in it. So um, I'll have to find it. Is that big? See what I mean? Like you can make it. Oh, I think that'd be lovely. And yeah, I don't think it necessarily has to be, you know, something else. I like the other one more. But anyway, just to give you an idea, we'll put that aside. That one's not going any further. Okay, so what else do we have? We've got this here, which I is a lovely um, thing. I made. I need to make more of those. We might have a session with those. They're really nice. They look like, the you know, they're as nice as, as the bought ones I used to be able to get. We can't get them anymore. And they don't make them. It's so Italian just to stop making things. I am going to make this a bit more... I'm going to add a bit of red, I think. I'm not going to put any focal point on it. I think I'll just put it aside and say this can go in either direction. Because I'll be doing, I'm doing both types, you know, Christmas and non. So um, I kind of need to have a mix of everything. 
but I'm just going to prepare my base. I like a, a bit of a decorative paper and then I might like just a little bit of script or book page. I've got script there so maybe book page would be better. The book pages that I had pulled out are kind of are sort of falling apart. These ones are not very... This one here, this will be all right. It's from a religious book, but I want the scripty part, so I'm going to just take off the borders. Not doing very good tearing here. Take that off and put that there, and then I can add a focal point. That's my little formula. I might put that aside. We might do a video with that. We've done it before, but um, we'll do it again. And I won't put any, I might put a washi tape there, but I'll wait to see what I decide to do with it. So then we have these. Oh, these are already all done with writing paper on the, oh, I know, I did the collage on the, on the, um, what's it called? The postcard sheet from the printable. And then I, um, And then I cut them out. Can't speak. So a couple of them I'm going to sort of pre-prepare to be a bit more Christmassy. So I won't need to add too much. Maybe just a little piece like that. And then it can have a focal point. And I usually um, end up pull out I've got some more of those plastic crates because I've sort of emptied them out when I was de-stashing um, I usually will have a box of Christmas ephemera and pockets so let's do this one something else and get rid of all these bits and pieces of papers um, and we will finish it off so I don't want I don't want to put script on script I was watching Wendy's video the other day. Hi, Wendy. Um, and um, she was saying that if you don't, if like um, she clears out her her storage area fairly frequently, and um, because if she can't see what she has, she won't use it because she doesn't remember. Well, I'm exactly the same. I think there's a lot of stuff that I have that I haven't been using because I can't see it, and so I haven't been using it. So um, I do need to figure out a way that I can use things more frequently. I love this bit here. And I've been using these papers a lot as journal pages, and that's obviously what they're designed for, but I really would like to use them a bit as well for... That is so pretty for decorating things. Steffi did this lovely kit. Very clever, very clever husband. Oh, that's so pretty. He doesn't need too much. I might put a birdie on it. Let's have a look at the birds. Oh, I love it. Yep, that's it, it's done. Don't you love it when it happens, when it comes together quickly? So I probably won't do too much more. I've probably been here for a while because I could sit here all day and do this sort of random stuff. Just watch. I watch YouTube or watch one of my hoardy courses. You know, I have a million courses that I've, as you know, that I've purchased and I, I just have hoarded them. I haven't watched them. <laughs> that is so cute. I could decide to put a little Tracy label there or something. But yeah, that's really very sweet. So that's one. that one is done. Um... Yes, I could sit here all day and just um, collage away and make things, but I do need to get on and make other stuff. So as I said, I don't want any script. What about a piece of this? I love that. I printed this on newsprint. 
need to go and eat something, I think. Oh, gosh, guys, what am I going to do for lunch? Oh, nightmare. I know what ha what's happening for dinner because we've invited people over and we already know what I have to do for dinner. It's just lunch today. It's going to be a toughie. I just want a little piece of it. I can use that other one on something else. I just thought I might put it there, 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 there. I'm kind of like it there. It's covering that stamp. Oh, well. Ho-hum. Oh, you know what? I've got my other stamps. I've got the vintage ones that I bought. I could always use one of those. And don't forget that this is a digital. So, you know, print it out again if you really love something that you cover. Oh, and I love that bird on there. Do we want any other colour? Anything else? This is the question. Do we want anything else on there? I don't think so. A little piece of this. <laughs> this is from my mother-in-law's. This, this here is from one of my mother-in-law's, her cousin. His, when they renovated his place, I've told you this before. I'm going to put that up there. But maybe not quite that long. I'll tell you why. Because it's the same length as that. We don't like things to be the same length. Um, when he was renovating his place that he his parents had bought, um, or his parent where he grew up, um, they found all these frescoes. Now, how lucky is that? It's really gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to glue the bird. I have to be careful not to rip, rip its feet off. Oh, dear. Nearly did it. Okay. So let me see if I grab just grab this one. These are these vintage ones that I got the other day. Not blue. Oh, Lulu, Lulu went to her friend's place and she borrowed some of my pens. So I haven't put them away yet. Stone grey, let's use stone grey and I'm just going to stamp, let's try it, to get a bit more ink on there, yeah, and a stamp here, oh so cool, and here, and I love that they're vintage, Rigello, Rigello's near Florence, cool, makes a difference doesn't it? And you just add a couple of random stamps. So there we go. So that is my video for today. Um, just some random crafting. Some things are, are completed and some things are not completed. I'll put those aside because they may go into the Christmas pile that needs to be done. That one too. Um, but that's just a little journal card. Journal cards, quite a few journal cards. A little side pocket. More journal cards. And another one. And where did I put my other one? I thought I made another pocket. I did. I've lost it. Oh, that... No, maybe it was that one. I can't remember. Um, I've also got this little bag here. I did that before I turned the video on. I thought I really should be sharing. Um, and so that one, I just put a little bit of paper on it. And I'll put some sort of focal point on there as well. And that will be Christmas. So I'm going to put these in my Christmas box. And we will do those together or something like that after which at a later date. Um, yeah, and then I've got the, I put those all away. I did all the window ones off camera, but I did talk to you about doing those. I think it's a good idea to just mass, mass make things. So I hope you enjoyed that random crafting. Um, I do have a huge pile here. I think I will continue on and do a bit more, but you sort of get the idea just randomly make things use your scraps that's my favorite use your scraps up and just get it done um yeah just get it made i might if i i don't know i'll if i if i make any more i might put some photographs or something but oh, i may not 
So there you go. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.